Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to my editing suite here in my home office. My wife affectionately calls it my cave because I never leave. I'm Kevin Anson with TheVideoCourse.com. In this tutorial, I wanted to show you all how to animate a website. Over the past 10 years, I've ran into countless situations where my client wants me to include a few shots of their website in their video, and I've sort of come up with a format that clients have been really happy with 9.9 .9 out of 10 times, and I wanted to show it to you. This is what it looks like. Also, as part of this tutorial, I'm gonna give you this mouse pointer vector, this mouse hand vector, this mouse click sound effect, and an After Effects project you can use to drag and drop your website screenshot right into it, just in case you don't have time to recreate all this stuff from scratch. All right, let's get started. And welcome back. For this example, I animated my own company website, videobuilders.net. I chose to capture the live movement since there's footage on my site, but if you wanted to capture just static images of your client's site, you could totally do that as well. Keep in mind, I'm not gonna show you how to do every single movement I showed in the teaser earlier. I'm just gonna show you how to do the basics of these so you can then take these techniques and create your own website animations. For this tutorial, I'm gonna assume you already know how to screen capture a website. Now what I did do though, is I took a shot of the top of the site, scrolled down, took another shot, and so on, until I captured the entire site. Then I stitched the images together in After Effects afterwards. All right, so inside of After Effects, we're gonna create a new comp, and we're gonna make the height of this like 4,000, and the frame rate's gonna stay at 29.97. We'll call this page one. I'm gonna drag my first image down onto the screen here, drag it up to the top, and I'm gonna to need to scale this down just a little bit. And then I'm gonna duplicate this image and then replace it with the second image just by holding the option key and dragging it right on top. That way it'll maintain the exact same scale that I just applied to the other clip. So we're gonna drag this one down below and make sure it lines up right about there. We're gonna duplicate this clip and we're gonna drag this one option click right on top and drag this down so it lines up. And that is it for the website. So now we create a new comp and we're gonna call this um, page one main and then we're gonna drag the original page one right into it. So I'm gonna drag it all the way up so we can go to the bottom of the website and I'm gonna make sure to turn on 3D for this layer. I'm gonna hit um, P, hold down shift, hit scale and rotation. And I am gonna rotate this just a little bit like that and like that. Maybe move it over a little bit. All right, we're gonna set a keyframe here for position and uh, X rotation and Y rotation. And then I'm gonna hit shift page down six times. And then we are going to drag the Y down so we stay on that same axis. And we're gonna drag it all the way to the top, right about there. So what it looks like now starts at the bottom and goes all the way to the top. What I want it to do in the process is I want it to actually turn a little bit. Just gives it a nice little effect. And we're gonna have it end right here. So now it looks like this. The website's gonna start at the bottom, and as it goes up, it's gonna twist and land right about there. So you can tweak these keyframes to your liking, of course, but that is all we're gonna do for now on that one. And let's watch it and see what it looks like. And if you wanted to, you could slow these keyframes down a little bit. So just drag this over. All right, looks pretty good. So now we're gonna animate one more page to go on top of that one. So I'm gonna create a new composition and call this page two. Same thing, 4,000. And I have some other screenshots that I took 
So I'm going to drag these onto the screen and I'll time lapse this part so you guys don't have to watch it. Alright, so we're going to create a new comp and call this page 2 main and 1920 by 1080, perfect. And we're going to drag page 2 into it and we're going to make this one 3D as well. And let's say that we want it to rotate a little bit just like that and we want it to slide off the screen. So we're going to set a position keyframe here, go over, let's say two seconds, set a keyframe, go back and slide this guy off the screen by clicking on the X axis here. So now we're going to get this effect and we're going to easy ease this keyframe. And let's say we want it to hold there for one second and then all of a sudden it's going to go down to the bottom. Right about there. And that looks good. Let's go ahead and create a new composition and we'll call this final. And this is where we're going to create our final composition with these two pages. So we'll drag the first page in and then we'll see where it stops right about there. And then we'll drag the second page layer right on top. So as soon as that one lands like that, holds for a second, and then this one slides on. I'm not spending a lot of time animating this. Of course, you can mess with the keyframes in your own project, but this is just to show you the basics for now. And then on top of this, I want to have that mouse pointer. Let's say it just adds a nice little effect. So we're going to drag this mouse pointer right on top of the screen here. We're going to click the continuous rasterization button there. We'll scale this guy up. And then I'm going to add a drop shadow to it. Ramp up the softness. There we go. So this mouse layer is not going to be in 3D. It's just going to be as is. And I'm going to set a position keyframe there. And as it goes to the top of the screen, the mouse pointer is going to go up to the left. Just like that. And I'm going to easy ease these keyframes. So let's see what this looks like. There you go. So as soon as this one slides on, Maybe the mouse pointer slowly goes down to the bottom here, like this. And you could, of course, add the hand pointer if you wanted to. So just select this and option drag the hand on top. So now you have a hand instead. Just depends on whatever you are into and whatever your project entails, it's up to you. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to download all of the assets for this project. The link for that is in the description below. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and if you wouldn't mind, please share it on Facebook. It helps me out a ton. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. If you have any suggestions for videos you'd like me to make a lesson about, join our Facebook group and let me know. The link for that is in the description also. We'll see you next time.